In the very, very early years, uh, we lived right next door to the company, right next door, out the back door. So my dad was there all the time, and I remember we used to eat our dinners and uh, lunches at the shop in the office. My mom gave up her nursing career in order to be the secretary and organize files. Well, even before Larry, it was Larry Sr. who uh, basically was a, did a lot of patents and he was an inventor. And, uh, and then it, Larry took over and when he took over, it was basically farm repair and a lot more machine shop work. Basically, Larry Jr. had to take it over because Larry Sr. had his uh, issues with Parkinson's and that type of stuff and he was sort of forced into the position. But I was the manager of Inner's Manufacturing Company when I was 12 years old, which was kind of funny. I'd work in the morning, go to school, come back at night, and then work again. Yeah, back then, uh, 1979, um, you know, Larry Endress was running the company. Ken was estimator, detailer, doing uh, a lot of things. We decided to move. We had outgrown our space in the heart of Wanakee and bought this property. Um, the site has since grown as we've added buildings, but at that time, we were really on the outside of Wanakee. And now we're worried about the same thing we were before, becoming enclosed and surrounded and having no room for further expansion. We made a lot of changes in the company over those years. 49 years later, Sam took, took over. It was fun to grow up within the family business, whether it was coming in on Saturdays with that or summers when we worked here. There's definitely some years where I was not so excited to come into work early in the morning with dad, but uh, it was a great experience. The transition from generation to generation is always challenging. I think when dad took over, he kind of pushed Larry to do a couple things that were different from what he aspired. Um, I don't think I've pushed Ken too far yet. Considering he comes in here every day, it's hard to push the envelope too far.